Hello, world. <laughs> I'm Michelle from the National Women in Blues here with Erica Brown and Lawrence Lebo. And I said that right? Yeah? Yes. Fabulous. Okay. Um, we are here in the Hilton Garden Inn in downtown Memphis, Tennessee, in part thanks to the Blues Foundation and the International Blues Challenge, Endless Blues Records, Blue Monday Monthly, the South Central Indiana Blues Society, and a whole host of amazing people. And I'm really excited because I've known Lawrence for years, and I, I, I leave, as you all know, but I'm, this is the first time I ever got to meet Lawrence, and I'm, but I'm going to leave her in Erica's capable hands because I know she's going to look after you and y'all will have fun. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Hey, Erica. Hello. <laughs> so welcome, excited welcome. to be here. Yes. I got welcome, my welcome. women in blue necklace. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's just jump right into okay. it. Okay. So, I'm jumping in with, with the merch first. <laughs> Lawrence Lebo. Where can we find this? Everywhere. Everywhere. Amazon. Everywhere. Amazon, CD Baby, anywhere you can buy online. All right. And um, in specialty CD stores, also brick and mortar. Okay, okay. So, as I understand from our prior conversation, right before we got went live, um, you are here having fun, networking, actually meeting in the flesh people that you've known for years. <laughs> yes, as Michelle said. I've known her since she started Women in Blues, and we feel like old friends. But this was our first time to actually meet in person. Beautiful. <laughs> it happens that way sometimes, yes. you know. And, but nevertheless, it's a beautiful thing. It is. So, tell me something about you. When did you get started in the blues? Have you always been a blues woman? Did you, you know, how did you come to us? Sure. So, um, yes, I've always. I love the blues, so I've sang a lot of different styles of music. Okay. I've been a professional singer since I was very young. Good. And um, I would say that my first influence to the blues was Dinah Washington. All right. And Coco Taylor, the first cover blues I ever recorded and did my own version of was Coco Taylor's Please Don't Dog Me. Yes. What a lyric. Baby, please don't dog me. When you know you're doing wrong yourself. Yes! What See, this is what I'm talking about, y'all. You know, a woman who writes as well as sings. Absolutely. I love that. I write my own songs. Absolutely. I produce my own songs. Get down, girl. Go ahead. Get and down. So <laughs> many, so many women do. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And and we're so much stronger for being able to come together like this, and you know, and network with y'all out there, and let turn you on. To some of the amazing blues women that are on the scene right now you know some of us may not as have as much um, exposure yet as some others but we are working together and we all moving on up y'all so so tell me about this CD tell me about the songs you ooh, I love the title of this one you got a secret yeah, don't we, don't we all have our secrets? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> and we ain't talking about none of mine, y'all. Okay. <laughs> well, Old, old School Girl uh, is yes. my mm, sixth release. Okay. And um, it uh, was dropped August 17th. Okay. So it's been out there for six months. Okay. And it's done really well at Blues Radio. It's charted on the Living Blues charts. Oh. Uh, it's, uh, this week it's number six on the RMR Soul Blues charts. All right. It's been on the Australian charts, the uh, European charts. Yeah. And I'm happy. All I'm right. happy. You and I'm all. looking forward to the next. I'm starting to write new material. Yes, yes. Oh, and it's a continual thing, you know. It has it's something. To be. Yes, yes. It is. The grind is real. <laughs> so now, tell us about Lawrence Lebo, the girl. What, what moves you, Lawrence? What gets you where you live? Oh boy. I know that's, that's a, a I mean, my, obviously it's music yes. and it's singing and it's also teaching. What do you teach? I teach private vocal lessons and ukulele lessons. Oh my God! I also teach a blues vocal class okay. at world famous McCabe's Guitar Shop in Los Angeles where I'm from. Okay. And um, it's a very special class. No one teaches a women's vocal class like this. It actually breaks down the singing techniques that identify what blue singing is. Okay. I'll call it what's in the blue singer's bag. Yeah. And it's uh it's a very special class and I really love teaching it. Wow. I love this sort of thing when we get a chance to talk and get in depth 
you know, with our women and find out everything that has brought them to this particular journey, you know, and everything that it is that you all have to share with the rest of us. So it, it empowers, educates, you know, and edifies all of us. And we need women like you so badly, and we are so excited that you are here. Thank you, but we also need women like you. And let me sh shout out to Michelle. Shout out, Michelle. Who has brought this all together. <laughs> Yes. Who has who has worked so hard right. to make Women in Blues the group that it is? And Look the lady at my that, necklace. I'm wearing my necklace. Right? And the lady that's behind the camera who so never comes out behind the camera. Marie Wilson, y'all. Michelle. Woo! Yes. And to Erica, she's been here how many days doing this? We started From, on. We started day before yesterday, and we just promoting been promoting kind of Women on. in Blues. We got to. Thank you. We have got to edify Thank and uplift you. each other. You know, Thank if we you. don't, as as Michelle is so fond of saying, we are more than just a side note. And you can say it again when we get done. But <laughs> and my sisters out there who are working hard yes. and remembering what the blues is about and bringing that out in your own special way, Absolutely. you go, girls. Yes. You go. Yes. There are so many paths. And there's so many paths that all of us have taken to get here, you know, and not like, like physically here, but here in the blues and here as a blues sisterhood and a group of women who reach down, reach up, you know, reach back, reach forward, you know, right. all, all different kinds of ways and of pulling us all together. And don't step on and step over. That's right. That's right. Because mm -hmm. as my mother used to say, that same butt you kick on the way up, you may have to kiss on the way down. That's right. I don't know you if we can say well. that, but, <laughs> but it's out there now. Um, Lawrence, we are so excited to have you here. I'm Girl, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Because we got to. We, I'll just be over here. Can <laughs> that to me real quick? All right. Oh, there we go. Lawrence Lebo, old school girl. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it on iTunes. You can find it on CD Baby. You can find it everywhere. We are looking so forward to hearing more from you and seeing more from you. Ah. And Lawrence, I want to thank you for coming. Of course, Erica, I love you being here doing this because you're doing this so beautifully. And we want to thank all of you for watching us here at the Hilton Garden Inn in downtown Memphis during International Blues Challenge Week. Brought to you by the Blues Foundation. We want to thank them as well as Endless Blues Records, uh, Blue Monday Monthly, South Central Indiana Blues Society, and a whole host of other amazing people that help make this happen. We will be back shortly with Robin Capsalas. All right.